Hallo zusammen and welcome to the very first episode of What if Insert name here Was German And this very first time we're gonna try to Germanize Ed Sheeran And find out which songs or albums he might have made As a German artist I actually thought it's an interesting and rather alternative approach to teaching some German and to talk about music because those are the things that I love, you know, teaching stuff, entertaining you guys and talking about music. So imagine, if Ed Sheeran was German, he would probably have been named Eduard Christopher Scheren. Yeah, I'd say the German plural noun Die Scheren comes closest to the sound of his last name. It's Die Schere Singular, Die Scheren Plural. And I guess I might have just revealed his alter ego. Edward mit den Scherenhänden. Edward with the scissor hands. Yeah. I knew it all the time. I did. By the way, in Germany, names such as Edward or Eduard are considered old school and outdated names. Yeah, because no German boy would be called Edward or Eduard these days, I don't think. I'd say it still works as a middle name, but that's about it. But yeah, Eduard Scheren. If Ed Sheeran was German, he would have been born in Warstein, which actually is pretty close to my hometown in the Sauerland region, by the way. In reality, he was born in Hebden Bridge, which belongs to the civil parish Hebden Reut, which is the official twin town of our German Warstein. Hmm. If Ed Sheeran was German, some Germans might refer to him as der Rotschopf, which basically means redhead or ginger in the sense of someone has red hair. Otherwise, Ginger is der Ingwer. If Ed Sheeran was German, he would have turned 27 instead of 27 only a few days ago. And as you might know already, or as you have figured a few seconds ago, Germans refer to numbers differently than English-speaking folks. In the English language, it's 27, whereas in German it's 27. So it's pretty much the other way around. That's how we deal with numbers. Because we can. So we actually mention the unit position first. And this applies to all two digit numbers in Germany, with the exception of 10, 11, and 12. 10, 11, 12. Because why not? If Ed Sheeran was German, he would still have a certain fable for die Mathematik, mathematics, yet his albums would rather be known as Plus or die Addition, Mal or die Multiplikation, and Geteilt, respectively Geteilt durch or die Division. Yep, you could call that nerdy, but also pretty creative and cool, I'd say. If Ed Sheeran was German, he certainly wouldn't have become an MBE, a member of the British Empire, because, you know, obvious reasons, but instead he might have been granted the Verdienstkreuz am Bande, the cross of merit on the ribbon or cordon. Even though I have to admit I'm not too sure if you can compare both medals regarding their prestige and relevance, but according to some research I did, these honors are pretty much on the same level or rank. I guess the most well-known medal or honor or medal of honor, ha, huh, see what I did there, we have in Germany is das Bundesverdienstkreuz, the Federal Cross of Merit. If that doesn't sound prestigious enough, I don't know. If Ed Sheeran was German, his hit songs might have gotten different titles. Let's begin with The A-Team. Well, that would still remain The A-Team, because we haven't Germanized that show's title for the German version. Otherwise, hypothetically, it would be Die A-Truppe, which is not to be confused with Die Attrappe, the dummy or mock-up. And if you'd only Germanize the article in the A-Team, it would be das A-Team, because Team as a loan word is a neuter noun in German. He would have sung about a Lego house, which only sounds different in tiny nuances, I'd say. 
A more notable difference would be that this title would probably be spelled as a compound word, because we Germans love to combine words rather directly than indirectly. Instead of I see fire, his song might be titled Ich see Feuer, which at least sounds equally long. And by the way, the German title of The Hobbit The Desolation of Smaug is Der Hobbit Smaug's Einöde. Shape of You turned to Deine Form or Deine Körperform, <laughs> sorry, <clears throat> which sounds way less normal or, <laughs> well, you, can, you can't even consider it sounding good anymore, I'd say, uh, because, you know, Deine Form, Deine Körperform. The shape of you, that sounds way more charismatic, <laughs> if you ask me. According to burgenwelt.org, there are 2137 castles, palaces or similar buildings in Germany. And we're known for quite a few of them, I'd say. So I'm certain Eduard Scheren would have composed a song titled Burg auf dem Hügel, Castle on the Hill. Oh yeah! The title of his most recent hit single would almost stay the same, yet it would rather be perfect instead of perfect. Apart from the different pronunciation, this spelling is a common linguistic phenomenon regarding many words that are similar in German and English. Because whereas you'd rather find the consonant C in English, Germans like to use a K preferably. I think he seems to be a pretty likable guy, so yeah. I wonder though, which musicians or artists, which bands should I try to Germanize next? Do you have any suggestions? If so, tell me in the comments. And also make sure to hit that like button and to share my video with other people if you enjoyed this because that really helps a lot. Thanks for watching, I guess. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.